Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm going to teach you to tie the Eldridge knot today. This fabulous, woven, trending necktie knot. Thank you for tuning in. We try to make these videos a little bit slower than some of the others on YouTube so that first timers can get to know these knots. I want to thank our subscribers. We have about 6,000 now, and it's because of you that we are putting more time and energy into making all types of videos about neckties. The last group I want to thank are those who actually buy our neckties. I have a couple here. And the cool thing about buying a necktie from My Nice Tie is that you not only look great, but you change lives. Because a certain percentage of all sales goes to help microfinance people all over the world. We've now helped thir people in 39 countries, and we've made 389 loans. In fact, I should say, you have made 389 loans. You have affected 389 people throughout the world. So thank you for that, and help us continue to grow that. So let's jump in to the Eldridge Knot. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose the right necktie for the Eldridge Knot. Because the Eldridge Knot doesn't work really well with a high contrast knot, and it doesn't work well with striped neckties. The best is a solid color. This is one of our platinum ties that we sell online. And it works really well with this knot. So throw your collar up. So the necktie over your head and pay attention to which side you have the wide end on and which side you have the skinny end on. That's going to be very important as we tie this tie because most neckties are tied with the wide end and so you'll start with the skinny end pretty short. This knot is, the other's knot is actually tied with the skinny end so you want to measure the wide end to be about at your belt buckle or wherever you wear the necktie. And then you take the hand opposite the wide end, cross it over, put your finger right in the center, and make a dimple. Take your other hand, cross it in front of the dimple, and then pass it behind the dimple, and I just kind of let mine hang on the tip of my arm because I grab the tip of the small end and tuck it between my necktie and the neck and trick here is to get this inside triangle as tight as humanly possible because you're gonna want as much of this small end as you can get later on so then I pass the skinny end in front of that triangle I just made. You'll notice I switched hands and then I push the skinny end up through the hole between my neck and the necktie. Voila! That is the center of the Eldridge knot. Now you remember I told you to pay attention to which side the wide end was on? Well, that is because now you're going to want to pass the skinny end towards that original side. If you've forgotten, you'll notice that there's a dimple right here, and that will remind you which side the wide end was on. And then you pass, this time you pass the skinny end around the back again, but you'll notice I put my index finger under the skinny end to leave it a little bit loose because what we're going to do is we're going to take this skinny end and tuck it right up in that hole we just created and now to make this first weave look correct I want you to pay attention to two things first this hand is grabbing the bottom of the skinny end and pulling it tight pulling it out this way and then this hand 
is grabbing the tip of the skinny end and pulling it behind my neck. So you pull tight and then pull behind your neck, tighten the knot and then pull it behind your neck. And pulling it behind your neck is important because the very next step is to then tuck the skinny end between your necktie and the neck. And if you've done it correctly, you should have a tight weave. Now, you take the skinny end, and you'll notice we're on the same side as the wide end was. And we're going to tuck it between the necktie and your neck, and then allow it to pull towards the opposite of the wide end. And then you take the tip and you'll tuck it right up in that hole. Uh, you see that? And again, I've got the tip of the skinny end with this hand. I grab the bottom here, pull tight, and then pull back towards my neck. And actually it's a little bit difficult. You gotta try to really pull it tight. Um, and if you need to, you can kind of push it tight as well. And then you just tighten it up. Then you'll notice that this little piece is sticking out. What I like to do is just tuck it underneath and there you have it, the Eldridge knot. And with this knot you actually pull it tight with the wide end because the skinny end is used to tie the ties so you pull the wide end down and cinch it up right to your neck. Put your collar down Make sure that the skinny piece is hidden over here. You don't want it hanging out. And then the last thing I do is pull the dimple, widen the dimple just a little bit because I don't like it when it looks really pinched. And that is the Eldridge Knot. Looking great. Just throw your suit coat on and you will be ready for whatever event you're going to, whether it be prom, wedding, maybe not church with this knot, but uh, please post a response to this video if you end up using this necktie knot, and you can email me at fans at mynicetie.com, and we will post pictures that you send on the website, as long as they're appropriate pictures. And as always, use the promo code YouTube at checkout for a special discount at MyNiceTie.com. Signing out. I have a necktie to tie for you guys, and Ben is teasing. <laughs> this fabulous and trending insect head knot. <laughs> and then, that was supposed to come up. call it an insect head knot, I promise. Small end through and you're basically making a knot. Wow, okay. Settle down, buddy. Settle down. And then you do it again. And this is Ben, signing out.